Keyword research tools are really expensive. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three free ways to find keywords. And I still use these methods, even though I use keyword research tools as well. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. If you get value from this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe to let me know. And let's get started. The first two tools are the Google search engine itself. Everything you type in to Google and other websites for that matter, including YouTube, the website starts making suggestions. In this case, I wrote in how to make a, added a space, and it gives all these ideas. These ideas are based on what people are actually searching for. Google is trying to guess what you want based on what other people have looked for. Then we can add the letter A afterwards. And we have everything that starts with A, how to make A and whatever. Make it a B, get a whole bunch more keywords. C, D, E, F, you get the idea. You can also narrow it down even more. So in this case, the top one is how to make French toast. Let's see what else we can do in French. How to make French, A, B, C, D, E, you get the idea. Unlimited search results. And then the second method, let's do how to make French toast. We have this people also ask section. These are also search terms that Google's trying to guess. If you click on these and close them, you see more being added. You can get lots more subtopics for whatever your topic is. At the very bottom, we have something similar, and that's these search suggestions right down here. This is Google suggesting more stuff for you to look up. Now let's say we want to use this keyword. How do we know it's actually getting traffic? Google is suggesting it because somebody's searching for it, but is it enough people that it's worthwhile for you? For that, we go to our third tool and that's Google Trends. We go to trends.google.com and we plop our keyword right in there. Click on explore and we can see this has some search volume. All these boxes show you different data. And as a rule of thumb, each box that has data you can say it's about 100 searches a month if it's a small amount of data. Here we're showing quite a bit. But if this was like just like one search here, two searches there, you could say that's 100 searches a month. And then this will add another 100 a month. This will add another 100, another 100. And if you have all four of those filled out with data, that's worth at least 500 searches a month as a rule of thumb. For example, if I make this more complicated, how to make French toast easy today, we see there is no search results for any of this. And this is gonna show up for keywords that you're researching. So if we had this one up here showing data, that's worth 100 searches a month, unless it shows like off the charts volume. And these ones don't have any data, so that keyword has probably 100-ish searches a month. I think you get the idea. So we're kind of ballparking how much search volume there might be based on this Google Trends data. And that's all you need to get started. Use this to start creating content Start ranking that content in Google by doing proper SEO. You wanna know more about proper SEO? Check out my channel. And then start making some money with that. Then you can invest in keyword tools. And you might find that you go back to this method anyway, even when you have keyword tools, because it's just so useful and so easy. If you got value from this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe to let me know. Then check out this playlist on your screen right now, which is all about SEO. If you wanna get better at SEO? Check out that playlist and I'll see you there.